So right now I'm just going to do a few stretches because I feel a little bit restricted in my mobility and my hamstrings are a little bit tight. So let's get to it. I'm just going to do a basic warm up. Today is like kind of like an accessory day. So we're just going to warm up with this and then do a little bit of a workout and just feel good and try to prevent some injuries for the future, right? So first thing we can do is just stretch the ankles a little bit and the hips just by going on a step and just going back and forth like this really good to stretch out the side of the hip and the ankles so let's get to it take your time get the feeling feel that ankle stretching right here have a good time you know i go for 10 reps each time simple stuff i like to hold it back off and go back into it fully keep the foot flat that's it you can hold on to it if you want you can do it without your hands it's up to you For me, that's a really good ankle stretch because my ankles are kind of tight, so I like to do this to maintain mobility and not be super stiff all the time. Especially my left side. My left side is a lot worse for some reason, so I tend to put a little bit more time on this side. And I say 10 reps, that's just in that average, it's just like a go-to rep range. If you feel like you need to do more or less, it's up to you, everybody's different. Everybody's got different uh, mobility and restrictions. So I like to do this. I think that's eight, nine, ten. Then maybe stretch out the hips with that pigeon pose right here. Simple shit. Keep that chest upright. Try to keep that leg as horizontal as possible. If possible, if not, back off and put your leg inside a little bit more me really good stretch on my side ankle or side hip and I like to go into it like this just find these tight restriction spots on the side of the hip like I, then I said like I said earlier there's no set time limit just do it as long as you need to to open up these hips open up these ankles you know because <clears throat> everybody's got different mobility and restrictions so you really got to keep that in mind for yourself. Do it as long as you need to, to feel like it's better and it's not jammed up. Right now, my, the side of my hip feels jammed, feels restricted. So I'm just gonna go into this and go where I feel like it's most restricted. And that's it, you know, just hold it until I feel like it loosens up. Loosen it, loosen up, you know what I mean. Then we can, Hinge, practice for hip hinge, very important. You want to deadlift and you can't hip hinge, you're fucked. So, hinge, feel the side, uh, the back of your leg stretching. Keep that, these glutes tight, keep that lower back uh, neutral. And I like to put a little bit in my knees. Try to think of pushing my hips back, my butt back as far as possible. Feel the stretch in my back and just hold it. Really, literally just hold it because the, the thing is, you want to practice the positions you want to get better at a lot. Like, I want to get better at deadlifting, I'm going to practice the deadlift position. I want to get better at overhead pressing. Overhead pressing. You want to practice just doing this. If you cannot get into this position, how the fuck do you expect to be good at overhead pressing? So a good way to, do, to get better at deadlifting or overhead pressing, get into these positions that you want to get better at without any weights. Literally weightless and practice. That's the position I want to get better at. So I'm going to stay in this position and just stretch my hamstrings, let the upper body relax a little bit. It's not very important. There's no load, so we don't need to uh, focus on the upper body. I want to focus on stretching my lower body. That's pretty much it for this.
You know, a lot of people say, oh, uh, I'm too big, I'm 300 pounds, I can't do this. Listen, there's some 300 pound men and women that are more mobile and flexible than me. But there's no excuses with your weight, okay? That's just in your head. Slowly build up your, uh, your flexibility and mobility. And the more you do it, the more you'll get used to it. That's all there is to it. And now, I really wanna focus on that uh, shoulder mobility. So, what we'll do, God damn, I'm sweating like a pig. Damn. I don't even feel like I'm sweating that much, but I actually am, let's go. All right, so what I like to do, I'm gonna wash the mirror a bit live, don't worry about it, I got you, I got you. But first things first, remove the sweat off your filthy hands, and then put your hand on, ideally not a mirror, maybe like a wall, but there's no like flat walls here, so I'll use a mirror. And then what you wanna do is keep your chest upright, as upright as possible, like this. Put your hand behind you like this, okay? And then take your same foot as your left, as, take your left foot, just lunge into it a little bit like this, keep your chest upright, and then you'll feel a deep, deep stretch in your pec and your chest. And then what you can do is just do like some uh, waxing motions, wax on, wax off, just like this. Really good basic mobility stuff for shoulder mobility, okay? Wax on, wax off, let's go. And then again, there's no set numbers. I like to do this as long as I need to, to feel good, to warm up and feel warm. So then again, right arm, right leg in front. Feel a stretch in your, when you put your hands on the wall, try to think of feeling the stretch in your pec before even starting. Lunge into it a little bit to even get a deeper stretch. And then go down. Go up and do a full circle like this. Go back up. And that's it, you know. I'm, I'm really gonna be good at washing windows after this. Holy shit. And that's it, you know. Feeling good, feeling mobile, feeling like I can move like a human being again, which is great. So then again, we can uh, just do a little bit of uh, basic stuff. Let's, let's hinge again really get into that squat, that deadlift position, sorry. And really hold it, just hold it. And th think of, push your hips back and feel the stretch in the back of your hamstring as much as possible. Push your hips back right now. Push, 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 push as hard as you can. Push that butt back, feel the stretch in the back of your legs. Hold this position. This is the position you wanna get strong at, right? Deadlifting. So we need to get better and comfortable in this position before even having a barbell. Imagine if you can't even squat, without like uh, a barbell in your back. That's not very efficient. You wanna practice these movements and get comfortable in the movements you wanna get better at body weight first, then move on to loading, adding more weights. And that's it, that's all, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and you took something from this.